What you put out is what comes back. So if you say, I'm going to be successful, I'm going to be happy, I'm going to enrich my life, I'm going to have a top quality life. This is how it works. Your brain is divided into two halves, good, positive, negative, and evil. Good and positive, negative and evil. Your mind don't work on no other principle. It's either right or wrong, good or bad, righteous or evil. It don't operate no other way. Skip anything else you've ever heard. There are in each side of the brain millions of factory workers. In charge of each one of these different sides is a foreman. You have foreman positive, you have foreman negative. Those are the two people in charge. This is how it works. You wake up in the morning and you say, man, man, this, I'm having a bad day. I woke up on the wrong side of the bed. The foreman on the negative, evil side of your brain steps to the forefront and says, excuse me, what did you say? I said, I'm having a bad day. I woke up on the wrong side of the bed. That foreman turns around, has a megaphone, makes an announcement to the million of factory workers on the left side of the brain, the negative and the evil side, and he says, hey, Steve's having a bad day this morning. He woke up on the wrong side of the bed. They go right away, sir. They turn around and start manufacturing thoughts to justify you having a bad day today. I will produce everything you need to go with what you said. That's what you thinking, that's what it is. And then your mind just starts going, yeah, we got up, I missed my alarm, I set the snooze button. And I got to, I got to get out in this rush hour traffic. I got to go down here and see these people I don't even care about today. I don't feel like, man, my electric toothbrush, it ain't even charged up. Ain't no more damn toothpaste in this tooth. I done rolled it all out. It just starts rolling. On the other hand, if you wake up every morning, you say, thank you. I sure appreciate you, Lord. Thank you for waking me up. Today, I expect to have another great day. That foreman comes to the front and says, excuse me, what did you just say? I said, I'm having a great day. I want to thank you, and I'm looking forward, and I expect to have a great day. He say right away. He turn around, get that megaphone, and say, all right, guys, Steve's having a great day. He's expecting some good things to happen today, and uh, he thinks it's going to be a really great day for him today. Let's get to work. The workers start producing. You know what? Man, we got a job to go to. Man, we making some money. Man. I got a roof over my head. It may not be the house I want, but I'm headed in that direction. Man, I got a car outside. Man, I got the ability to walk to the bus stop. Man, I'm healthy. You know what I'm saying? That's how it works. It's not a magic trick. The difference between successful people and non-successful people is we wake up expecting great things to happen. Now listen some bad things gonna happen to you. That's life. Know that. The road to success is always under construction. There ain't no easy way. Ain't no, everybody go right there. Everybody would go do that. It's gonna get funky for you in 2019. You are gonna get some setbacks. You are gonna lose some loved ones. I buried my best friend. We playing golf in October. He died while we playing golf. My best friend, I miss him, but I ain't want to climb in the casket. You know, I was at the funeral crying, and but you know, when they shut it down and rolled it out, I let them go ahead. I ain't, I, I got to go on with my life. It happens. Life is 10% of what you, happens to you. It's 90% what you do about it. Quit tripping every time something negative happened. It's the step to the next level. You gotta pass tests. You can't have a testimony without no test. You can't tell nobody what you've been through unless you've been through something. I can't stand here and tell you that this works unless I done seen it work. Why don't you take your God-given gift 
the thing that he gave all of you at birth and start using it. All of you have a gift that God gave you at birth. The, the Bible says your gift will make room for you and put you in the presence of great men. Not your job, not your career choice, your gift. I've been to the White House with President Obama probably eight times. I had never been there before. Don't look like I'm going back again. I done been to the White House. I done met the Supreme Ruler of Abu Dhabi. I've met the President of Botswana. I met kings. I met because of my gift. That's the only reason I'm here. It ain't because I'm educated. I don't have none. But this God you serve is listening to you. All you got to do is ask him. You got to talk to God. You got to tell him what you want. You got to believe that he going to give it to you. You got to be willing to put the work in and you got to wait on him. God will give you everything you ask for if you put the work in and you wait on him. If I was you, I would try that. Stop fooling yourself. Talk to God in 2019. Expect 2019 to be the greatest year of your life and God will give that to you. He gonna give it to me, watch. I bet he'll do it for you, thank y'all.